Hello everyone. In this video, we will be exploring the exciting new release of Llama 3.2 Vision available on Olama. So this update brings us a collection of multimodal large language models, specifically instruction tuned for image reasoning. So the Llama 3.2 Vision models come in both 11 billion and 90 billion sizes. So designed to handle text plus image input and generates text-based output. So the Lama 3.2 vision is optimized for various tasks like visual recognition, image reasoning, captioning, and answering general questions about images. So it supports various languages like English, German, French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, and many other languages. So in this video, we will experiment with some real use cases to see how well these models perform so toward the end of the video i will show you how to chat with llama 3.2 vision using llama python library within bs code all right so as you can see it is able to support the handwritten um, and it also supports ocrs so it handles chat you can chat with your tables and your chat and image for Q&A purposes. All right, so we can build up application around this using the Llama 3.2 vision. So it also has the usage. So I'm gonna show you how you can use it. So you can use that through Python library. You just have to install Olama. All right, I'm gonna import that. And you also support JavaScript library. You can curl, use the curl command. All right, so I'm going to walk you through how you can do this. So in Ulama, you can see we have the two sizes. That's the 11 billion, 90 billion. So when you go down and say view, you can see it even has the quantized version of that. So when you click on that, you have 90 billion in strat. And you can see the sizes there. So it has 55 gigabytes as well. You go to you go to the 11 billion sizes. It all has 7.9 gigabytes. All right. So before we do that, you need to install Ulama. You make sure it's running on your system. So let's see how you can do that. Ulama AI AI. So in here, you click on download. And depending on your system, you select your version and you say download. It's pretty easy to install. And you can see the, when you see this icon here, it means that Ulama is running successfully. All right. Before we do that, we need to also make sure we have the most updated one, that is 0 0.4, to make, to, to make sure it runs. You should get the latest version 0 0.4 so let's head over to my bs code all right so in my bs code i have my code here so i'm going to set up my environment i've already done that so you type python dash m v m v e m v when you hit enter it is going to install that successfully and now i want to activate my environment so when you say emb slash script slash activate you see only see this red uh, the green emb means that it's been activated and now i'm going to show you the version so now we are going to run this command in the terminal and i'm going to show you how you can do that using the python library all right so here I am going to check the version of Ulama. So I'm going to say Ulama version. Hit enter. So I have 0 0.4, right? So that's the updated version. And now what I want to do now is I will head over to my command. And I'm using the Llama. Okay, let's look at this. So I'll be using the Llama. 11b so i'm going to copy this command 
and we'll head over to VS Code. All right, so in order to check, I want to say Olama, check available models I have, Olama list. Right, as you can see, I already have that installed. Right, so I have Olama list successfully. And now, if you don't have that, you can type Olama run, then the name of the model, and when you hit enter, so I'm gonna hit enter. Should give it a few just for you to see how this runs. Awesome. Right, so once I have that run, so let's start by I'm going to be asking what the image is here. So we're going to be using first use the terminal. And as you can see, right, so you can see this here. So I'm going to be saying that. So I'm going to ask that subtotal. Uh, let's see. So you can see the subtotal. So I'm going to ask what the model is going to say so i'm going to say what is the sub total total on this all right so i'm going to drag this so you can drag that and you paste it here okay so i'm going to hit enter All right, so yeah, this is so awesome. All right, so I'm gonna, let me try and increase the, let's see. So it says that the subtotal on this receipt is 570.95. And you can clearly see that 57.95 is correct. So this can be found at the bottom of the receipt where it says subtotal sales tax and list the amount as 5.0 570.95 which is correct so it was able to extract data from the um from the receipt All right so let's let's try the second one so i'm going to say um so let me try this one okay so this is chart so i'm going to say so i'm going to say what is okay which day has the highest temperature All right so i'm going to drag the image here going to drag image here and let me hit enter and let's wait for the response so i'm expecting a thursday and a temperature 35 degrees celsius okay, so let's see so let's see how this goes all right so i said which day has the highest temperature so from the from the graph you see that thursday has the highest temperature of 35 as you can see here and you can see that the answer is correct the temperature on thursday uh, thursday has the highest temperature among all days listed in the image the temperature on thursday is approximately 35 degrees Celsius, which is significantly higher than the any other day shown in the graph. So this is correct. I really love this uh, vision model, even the 11 billion parameter model. All right, so let's look at the next one. So I went forward to ask this question for render on it. So what word is written in the shirt? So it's able to extract the name in the shirt. And it says the word volunteer is printed across the back of this person's blue shirt. 
So it's, it is able to identify the color of the shirt, blue shirt, t-shirt, and which is correct. And it gives some extra, I think it's repetition of the same thing, only shows a portion of the word on the left side of the, sh of the shirt. And say the complete word can be seen in the other images of the same shirt. So probably it's able to uh, give us uh, further information and kind of decide where that might be in front of the shirt. All right, so anyway, okay, so far, so good. So let's go to the Python library with Olama to run this model. All right, so in here, I have a Py file that says, so first of all, before you do that, you need to install pip Olama, pip install Olama in your terminal. I've already run that, so it's here. And the next thing you need to do is, after that, you run this code, import Olama, and we create a variable called response, and we call Olama, we pass, we use the chat, and we pass the model name. And we say, so this is going to be the user and the content. So what day has the highest temperature? And we pass the image, line image, which is here. Right, so we specify the directory of the image. And here is it. We have it here. And so when I say run, I want to print the response. And here is the response. So it says that. The graph shows that Thursday has the temperature of 35 degrees Celsius, which is higher than any other day. So the answer is Thursday. All right, so this is very impressive, even with the smallest model. All right, so I'm gonna attach the code in the description and you can also find the code here as well. So when you get to this link, you can just copy this code and paste it in your terminal. And you need to install pip, install Olama. All right, so do try it out and let me know how you feel about this model. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. See you in the next one.